Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Today I am doing something a little different. I'm actually just waiting here outside because I do have an appointment with Lena here at Sev and I am at the Melrose location. And I actually do have my appointment to retouch up my Botox and then kind of touch up on my fillers. I haven't taken you guys along with me on this channel on well, my personal channel but i have taken you guys along with me to watch me get injected possibly like the end of last year i want to say but on our vlog channel but i haven't done it recently huh it's been a yeah, it's been a long, long while yeah it's been a long while since i've actually like just picked up the camera and filmed it for you guys i thought i'd do that for my personal channel because y'all already know i'm trying to include you guys on all like the beauty aspect a lot of you guys always do ask me where i do get my injections and i do go with lena she is freaking amazing i was actually supposed to come like a month ago but with this whole quarantine thing like it kind of put our whole lives on hold they are reopening but slowly taking in their customers again that's what i'm doing today guys i'm going to be touching on my Botox because my wrinkles are coming back I was dying I was like oh my god I need Botox in my life but if you haven't already make sure to subscribe down below turn on your post notifications and that way you're notified every time I post a new video this is so awkward because I have Bo sitting here next to me if y'all don't know Bo Bo is my boyfriend you know we've been together for like two months or so <laughs> <laughs> just kidding he's hubby but he does come along with me on these things and instead of us just vlogging it for our vlog channel i thought i'd just do it for my personal channel i do need to touch up my botox botox basically you have to touch up every like three four months or so and it's been a good like four months already they say the perfect age to start getting botox is like 28 years old and i started at 29 so i think i'm doing pretty damn good <laughs> i do love the size of my lips i do notice that my bottom lip is getting a little bit smaller like it's losing its volume last time i spoke with lena i was actually asking her that why do i feel like my volume keeps going or i keep losing my volumes in my lips and stuff but she said a lot has to do with I don't want to give you guys the wrong term. Not meta is it metabolism? Basically, I have a faster metabolism, so my body breaks down the sugar faster. So that's why. It's just everybody's different. Some people can go like six months. Some people can go up to a year. But because I do love the size that they are right now, she basically just said to come in sooner to just touch up and keep the size instead of waiting so long until like I fully lose my size. But I do notice a little bit of my smile lines coming in, so see how you could see it like right here i'm gonna see what we can do about that today last time i did vlog it for you guys a lot of you guys were like oh my god your lips are so scarred up oh my god your lips look bumpy so i'm just gonna let you guys know that the first injector that i went to basically said that there is no way to get rid of texture in lips like unfortunately my lips are not smooth they've never been smooth before injections after injections they've never been smooth i think they only look smooth like right when i get them filled in because of how stretched they are but after that once it's like settles down my lips go back to being textured i mean there's just people that are gifted with having smooth lips and there's people like me that i do have texture in my lips that i will never be able to get rid of like i do have wrinkles i do have like texture in my lips and that's just something that i've always had even before injections so with that being said i'm just gonna be patiently waiting here in the car until it hit 3 30 and i'm possibly gonna take a little nap with Bo. I'm probably gonna sit on his lap real quick. <laughs> but anyways, we'll see you guys when I get inside. Lonely, Ricky Baker. Ella sabe que con quien está hablando tú me conoces más. No juegues, no, no. Ella sabe que yo no estoy jugando Quiero algo más No solo sexo ¿Cómo que no fue? Si yo recuerdo que fue Esa es la excusa 
saqueo Pero perdona hermosa, no sé si me vale Ya me di cuenta el dolor de cabeza Que pa' mí eres cuando tú empiezas De un lado a otro, como una pieza Que se perdió en un rompecabezas Like, my husband's gonna know what I really look like. <laughs> oh, all those memes coming out. <laughs> Can you do a big smile again? a video that somebody had polka dots all over the Yeah, the, the Botox is very liquidy and some people put it right under the skin which I don't like to do and it makes like these like waves. mosquito bites. Is there a rest? Okay. So this like it spreads out throughout the forehead? Yeah.
So I actually just got done. My face is a little sore, I'm not gonna lie. I did it this time with no nummy cream. It is doable with without nummy cream, guys. I'm going to actually just fill you guys in on what exactly I did when I get back home. Hey guys, so it has been a full 24 hours since I've actually gotten my injections. Yesterday, my face was just so freaking sore. I just needed to give it the night to just like rest up. Today, I'm actually feeling so much better. Usually, like after I do get my injections, my face is sore for like that day and then the next day I'm like totally okay so I actually went ahead and asked Lena for prices just because after I did post it on my IG story yesterday a lot of you guys were messaging me asking me for prices I did want to give you guys more accurate prices for the injection where I went to get my injections is actually Sev lasers so basically they do have different locations in different areas and I'll go ahead and list that down below in the description for you guys if you guys do want to go to them And my injector is Lena. She's so freaking amazing. I have no complaints whatsoever with her She's just an amazing injector overall guys like my experience with her the past few times I've gotten injected has just been an amazing one So I'll go ahead and also list her information down below in the description for you guys in case you guys do want to check her out Or just simply make appointments with them for Juvederm guys It is $500 a syringe and you can actually use Juvederm in your and in your smile lines so $700 per syringe for Voluma Voluma can be used for your cheekbones your jawline your under eyes numbers of syringe will vary I haven't gotten any under eye fillers or cheek fillers or anything like that so I can't really give you my experience on that and for Botox it is $10 a unit and units as well vary from person to person depending on just how many wrinkles you have and all that what I did what you guys seen in the video is I did actually get more fillers in my lips I previously have gotten fillers on both my top and bottom lips but like I did mention in the beginning of the video that my bottom lip was just smaller than my upper lip it was just losing its volume and I needed more volume there so that's that's why when I did go into my appointment, I only got the fillers touched up on my bottom lip. I didn't touch my top lip because I feel like my top lip is already the desired size I freaking love. It's just my bottom was a little bit on the problematic side because I did want more volume. So that's why I added it there. And then it's been a while since I've even touched up my smile lines. So that's what I went in is I actually did touch up my smile lines. As you guys can see, my smile lines are actually looking so much better. And honestly, the way that Lena injects the fillers for smile lines, I freaking love so much. I feel like every injector is totally different. And every injector just has like their different techniques. And I totally love Lena's. So what she does is she basically places like a bolus, basically like a ball underneath your skin to kind of bring out your smile line to kind of give it like a smoother surface if that makes sense and then i did do botox and i do botox all over my forehead because in the beginning of the video i did show you guys my wrinkles normally my wrinkles are more than what you basically seen but i do try to keep up as much as i can with my botox to prevent all those wrinkles from coming but once i start noticing that i am getting my wrinkles back like when i'm doing like certain facial expressions or when i'm looking up or doing something and it just bugs me so i do try to keep up with my botox the only downfall with botox guys is you don't see results right away it does take up to like seven days don't quote me on that i could be wrong it could be longer i'm not sure but um i know it does take like a week or so to actually see full true results i already noticed a difference so in the beginning of the video i had more wrinkles up here which i already feel like the botox is kicking in what i also do love is when i do my crow's feet i feel like it gives me like a wider um I don't know how to say it. I feel like it opens up like my brow. So I also did get Botox around my eyes right here to get rid of like those crow's feet on the side of my eyes when I smile. Honestly guys, Botox is my go-to once i got my dose of botox i freaking loved it so much with age as you guys know with age freaking your wrinkles will tend to come in stronger and the goal for botox is to actually prevent permanent wrinkles from happening they do say the perfect age to start getting botox is about like 28 years old i got my first dose of botox at 29 so literally just like last year i got my first dose of botox and i freaking loved it guys i freaking love botox so freaking much i feel like botox just makes me look younger it just keeps my youthfulness if that makes sense i do want to give a little disclaimer
disclaimer I am no way shape or form telling you guys to go out and get fillers or get Botox I just made this video to kind of take you guys along with me because I know a lot of you guys do get Questions or we just want to see the process in general of how it looks like when you're getting fillers or Botox done If I'm able to share it with you guys if I'm able to show you guys why not and like I said if you guys do want to get in touch with my Injector Lena, I'm telling you guys she is so freaking amazing her techniques amazing and on it Oh another thing that I did want to tell you guys is pain level. I feel like Lena has such a freaking light hand that when she's injecting me it it's literally like little to no pain this time around i did no numbing cream whatsoever and honestly the pain is very bearable like it's not bad but i kind of do have a higher pain tolerance so it could be worse for you guys but i'm just talking about my experience they do offer numbing cream i just feel like it wasn't worth it for me to sit there for an extra 20 minutes for the numbing cream when juvederm already contains lidocaine that as she is injecting my lips or my smile lines it's already numbing me along the process i just felt like i didn't need to use numbing cream this time around but if you want to you can use that so hopefully this did give you a better understanding and hopefully you guys did enjoy this video don't forget to comment share like and subscribe and before i do completely end this video my post of bikini shout out and winner to my hundred dollars plus worth of makeup goes to audrey shout out to you girl you should have received an email from me by now and for today's video guys i am giving another hundred dollars plus worth of makeup so all you have to do to win the makeup goodies is be subscribed to my channel have your post notifications on hit the little bell and comment down below showing some love as well as your email address i love you guys and i'll see you guys in my next video